Hey guys, welcome back to the 401 Week. Today we're going to show you how to install Windows 8 Media Center Pack into Windows 8 Pro. If you notice, it's normally $69.99, but Microsoft is offering it for free until January 31st. So in order to do this, all you have to do is have a valid email address, preferably the one you use to log into Windows 8. You can only use one, or excuse me, you may only receive one key per email, but you can have up to five keys per user. So you could use a different email address. All right, so in order to do that, all you simply do is enter your email address, enter this CAPTCHA that shows up, and select send my product key. So I'm gonna enter my email, and if you notice when I enter my email, I'm gonna enter the CAPTCHA again, here we go, and I'm gonna click send my product key, and then it's gonna give me a message saying my product key will be emailed to me within 72 hours. When you get your email in, it's gonna look like this is on the screen. The serial number I have is actually grayed out. So what your serial number is gonna say is gonna, it's not gonna say serial number here, it will actually say your serial number. And again, within this email, it gives you the exact same steps to do what I'm about to show you to do along in this video. So either from your desktop view or from the start screen in Windows 8, you simply click or move your mouse to the top right corner or bottom right corner of the screen and mouse up to the search bar, that little search icon, and you simply uh, type in add features. There's nothing that comes up in the apps, so we're going to go click on settings, and when you click on settings, you'll notice it says add features to Windows 8. So we're going to click there. It's going to give us a UAC prompting us to make sure we want to add features to Windows 8. We'll click accept. We're going to choose I already have a product key and we're going to enter our product key that was emailed to you. Now again, I'm going to speed up the tape so you don't see my product key. Now once you enter your product key, you can even copy and paste it from your email which will keep you from mistyping it if you wish. It's going to take a few seconds for Windows to verify it. Once it's verified, we're going to simply just click on next. It's going to give us the option to accept the license term. If you don't accept the license term, you're not going to be able to install this, so you want to make sure you do that. And once it's through adding these features, like you're going to see, it's going to restart a few times, so it's a good idea to make sure you're not disconnected from the internet or power. If you're on a desktop, the power really isn't an issue, but if you're on a laptop, you want to make sure you leave it plugged in. If it's not plugged in, now would be a good time to make sure it is plugged in. It's only going to take maybe five minutes to complete the installation as a whole. Your computer is only going to restart once, twice, maximum three times, I would assume. Um, but it's going to be a fairly quick process. We just want to make sure the power or the network connection isn't disrupted because that could cause issues that could escalate to make us have to even reinstall Windows 8. All right, so once our computer reboots, we want to log in, and then we want to get to the desktop so we can verify that it's installed completely. So it's a good idea to make sure you have a DVD installed in the drive, and we'll go into My Computer, we'll right-click on that DVD, and we'll select Autoplay. When we hit this, uh, auto, uh, the pop-up's going to come up again, and it's going to give us the option to play the movie in Windows Media Center. Since we haven't opened this program, since we just installed it, it's going to take a second to open for the first time and we're going to have to verify some settings so when they come up i'm just simply going to click continue to get started um, we can double click the screen to go full screen if you're curious so once we click continue it's going to ask if we want to choose express or custom i chose custom then it's going to ask us if we would verify our network and internet connections the next page is going to ask us if we would like to join the customer experience program that's up to you what you would like to do. I did just because. Um, then it's going to ask us if we would periodically connect to the internet to get downloads for updates. So again, that's a good idea to make sure you do that. Once we choose next, it's going to ask us to optimize our settings for this specific computer. Now, what I'm about to do here is going to be different than what you're going to do on your end, depending on the type of computer you have. So for instance, the first thing I want to do is I want to optimize how it looks on my display. Um, since I'm on a laptop, I'm going to choose built-in display. Now, if you're on a desktop, you will have a monitor. If you're using a television or a projector, you could choose that. 
So again, this is gonna be different for you. And depending on your setup, you may have standard. I have a wide screen that's just more of a rectangle than a square. And then it's gonna verify to make sure we would like to keep these settings. All right, so when we're finished, you could set up speakers or a media library if you would like. I chose not to. All right, so once we get back to the home screen, we can see we can have a recorded TV. We could have live TV. There's even Netflix. Um, we could watch a DVD if we had some movies installed on our computer we could look at that if you wish you could set up a music or a picture library with other computers under extras we could add plugins or other apps um, going back to the bottom if you skipped a step you could go into the setup options under settings and you could or excuse me under task and you could specify those settings all right so that's how to install windows 8 media center in windows 8 I'm gonna open up the DVD so we can double check that it works. If you have any questions, please let me know. So again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.